The Happy Minecrafter, a guide to sustainable living in your own backyard in Minecraft. Hosted by JDMac020. Created and developed by Jonathan MacGregor. And now, let's go to the show. Well, hello there, happy watchers. Here we are back at the blacksmith shop, just where we left it before. And the thing we're looking at now is you can tell it's kind of dark. I mean, it's a little bit dark around the outside here, and it's also a little bit dark here on, like, the inside. I think we need to do the project I spoke of and go ahead and light everything up. We'll finish up our decorations here on this episode. What do you think, watchers? Typically, we, we could just throw torches up, but torches use fossil fuels, they use coal. Uh, it's not really the best option from a sustainability standpoint. Uh, plus, there is the smoke and odor associated with burning coal. Uh, we, we've got enough emissions from our uh, netherrack fire. We, we really don't want to go that direct direction with this. So, I think we're going to take more of a glowstone approach. And towards that end, I've gathered some glowstone that we can, uh, glowstone dust, I apologize, that we'll be able to turn into glowstone blocks and uh, some redstone because I think rather than strictly glowstone, we may want to branch out into redstone lamps. So we're going to play with that a little bit today and see what works out best. I do have the nether quartz and some glass and some slabs because if we're able to do this on a solar basis, if we can harness the power of the sun over there um, just to power our, our lighting, I think that might be the best bet, especially if we can work it backwards and have it power it during the nighttime only and conserve electricity that way. That, I think, watchers, would be our best bet. So, now that we have our supplies and we have a vague outline of our plan, let's go ahead and get started. So I believe the first thing we're going to do is get some of this redstone lamps going. I think we want maybe, maybe four. So let's get four blocks of glowstone. And then we'll add the redstone to create the redstone lamp. There we go. And um, let's figure out where we're going to place that. And then we'll go for powering. Because I know. The fire generally keeps things well lit over in this corner. And we also need to decide if we're going to, or how we're going to enclose this, because I think it is important that we get a roof on if we're going to actually be secure. But I think we need a lamp here. Yes, I think a lamp is a good idea. And uh, that'll cover that. And then perhaps, Perhaps out here we may need something as well. Because I'm mostly concerned over here. This birch tree, we may need to replant this birch tree over here because it's awfully close to, uh, to our shop. In fact, I think we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to cut down the birch tree. Now don't be alarmed watchers, we are going to replant as soon as a sapling drops. We are going to replant this tree because we want to make sure we stay in tune with Minecraft and that's uh, definitely one of our key goals here. I think otherwise we are okay here. I think this is good. We may need to push back a little bit so that we are able to continue this wall out a little 
bit, I think. I do think we need to extend just a hair. Do we have a sapling yet, watchers? One drop while I wasn't, yes, it did drop while I was not paying attention. Let's go ahead and get that planted. I think uh, we'll just go ahead and stick it right there. That should be far enough away. And um, yes, let's go ahead and finish our roof structure before we decide how much lighting we need. I think that is, ooh, another sapling. I think that's going to be the smartest way to go about this. will do nicely. And so underneath we get a better feel for what we're looking for. We definitely need the light in that corner and uh, maybe on the outside. I think that's primarily going to be where we need some some power. Some power, some lighting. Uh, maybe out here. And if we come on to the other side so now, of course, the fact that uh, we, we have that there, we're going to need to figure out a way to power these watchers. That's going to be tricky. It's going to be very tricky indeed, and we're going to need something up top. I think we're going to need more redstone lamps because we can't just leave that big flat space there open because what's going to happen there is... Um, it's just going to be a perfect place for monsters to spawn. And I don't know about you, watchers. Woo, that did not work. But I am not interested in having a zombie party on top of my blacksmith shop. So, I think we need to come up here and ensure that we have sufficient lighting on the roof of the blacksmith shop. Now, of course, the next question, now that we have planted all of these lamps, is uh, how exactly are we going to power these? Now, there are some options we could use. For instance, um, we could power it with a lever. But that that is bulky. It sticks out from the wall. we got to turn it on manually and that's just I I'm not I'm not feeling a lever watchers I'm just not feeling that at all uh, we could we could instead of a lever we could power it with a redstone torch which you have to place it under the block itself which means we could either do a torch here but that looks, that looks very tacky. It breaks up the line of our structure. And if we're going to put a torch there, even if it's a redstone torch, it's like, what's the point of a visible torch and the redstone lamp? So that's really, uh, no, we're not going to do that either, watchers. Um, another option, if we're going to take the torch approach, is we could go under the block beneath, like
like so. That could work, and it's less disruptive to the building, and if we were really ambitious, we could block it, and you'd never know. So that's, uh, that's a couple of options that we do have, but given our goal here with the tools that we have and the supplies that we have, I think we may want to, and we're checking out both sides, okay, okay, we, uh, it might be time to invest in some solar panels. How does that strike you, watchers? All right then, watchers. I did do uh, some fairly significant off-camera work just now, trying to figure out the best way to power our redstone lamps. And the conclusion I came to is we are going to need to do the buried, what's the word I'm looking for? redstone torches. So that's where, that's going to be our primary source of power for these lamps. And that's where these come into play, and that's where these stones as well. Hmm, that didn't seem to work at the plan. I should be lighting up as well. But these are covered to make sure we don't see them from the inside. They don't really, they kind of add something to our design, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, it's too far over. That's gonna be a problem, watchers. Let's go ahead and move this this way. Yep, there we go. I see the, the torch there now. So if we move this, whoop, wrong button. Let's get that into play. Place that one there that is lit up. Cave sound. Are they talking about my shop? There we go. And then on the inside as well, it is completely lit. So, and it also doubles as covering our little spot there, which works out pretty well. So, but the problem, as I discussed before, is that if these torches will leave things on all day long. And it's just, uh, I, don't, I don't like that idea. That does not strike me as a good plan. It's not very sustainable, we're not conserving our energy, and there's no need for the light during the day. There just is not. So we're going to do something kind of interesting. We're going to have to move this, aren't we, watchers? If we're going to stay consistent and symmetrical, we will definitely need to place, uh, to move this lamp over. Ta-da! And that shouldn't cause any real problems here. Uh, we might need to do a little bit different with, uh, well, we'll get to that point in a second. So, we will now create our daylight sensor, which, uh, you know, I call it a solar panel. It's kind of nifty, and we're actually going to make uh, two of these, I think, is our best bet. Let's go ahead and do that. So, it's glass on top, nether quartz in the middle, and it's any wooden slab on the bottom will get you your daylight sensor. And what this does is it generates a charge with your, yes, I like this idea. With your, with, with sunlight, it generates a redstone charge. So let me demonstrate where the sun is up. It's got this nifty little charge. When the sun goes down, and we'll see this here in a second, apparently, the charge goes away. Welcome back, watchers. There's been a significant delay in getting this set up. There's been some trial and some error, so significant work has been done off camera, 
because uh, redstone is tricky and it's very easy to forget what you're doing and how things work with redstone. So initially recorded was this effort here. We just have the red light, <coughs> excuse me, dead light, <coughs> daylight sensor. Too much Stephen King today. We have our daylight sensor generating power along the way and if all works well the power will hit the redstone torch and shut it off because a positive plus a positive shuts it off equals a negative. Um, clearly that's not what's going on here so I had to experiment and figure out why this wasn't working because when there's power coming here because of the sun there should be no power at the torch. After much trial and error, and this is sometimes you have to do this in Minecraft, you have to try it, and if it doesn't work, try something different, and then read the wiki and try it again. What I had forgotten was you have to power the block beneath the redstone torch. Because if you try and link redstone dust to the torch, it's not going to have the same effect. The dust will be receiving the energy, it will not be giving the energy. I don't understand the details, but dust to torch, the torch is going to win. So you need to power the block below the torch. Powered block plus torch, powered block wins. So we can't directly go dust to torch and shut it off. So we had to dig out a little further than the other side, run a line in, continue along, run a line in, continue along, and it works out pretty well. We keep stepping down and powering these torches, and it works out uh, fairly well. No real complaints. I think this is going to do well. As you can see, we are shut off, and I think that's about all we have time for today, watchers. Please tune in next time where we get everything finished. Thank you for being patient as we built our roof and created redstone lamps and all of these fun things that are all better than relying on torches because at this point we need to be more in tune on the estate than torches. So boys and girls, until next time, happy Minecrafting. This show was brought to you by Mojang, Windows Expressions Encoder, Open Broadcaster Software, Windows Movie Maker, and by watchers like you. Weapons are prohibited in prison. That shouldn't be a surprise to anybody in the viewing audience today. Um, no killing guards, obviously. Um, failure to do so will result in jail and death.